Today, Saturday, the 31st of August, 2024, we have some hand-picked match predictions to share with you, which will be backed up by some stats and analytics to help you make your picks in this list to boost your winning by a greater percent. And to those of you who want to access more games, we have a total of 28 match events which we have shared to members only. And to those of you who want to have access to all of these picks to take their winning to the next level, then of course you want to make sure that you become a member of the Level 2 Pro Plan and start to have access to all our hand-picked match predictions, including straight wins, matches for over 1.5 and 2.5 goals, and so on. These games have been shared already, and of course, we are always going to be making sure that we provide long list of events, which are our handpick of all games to share to members only. So we want to make sure that you take advantage of this by becoming a member of the Level 2 Pro Package Plan and start to have access to members only videos and long list of huge art, which you can take advantage of it to take your winning to the next level. The link is below this video description. You can easily click on it to join to become a member and have access to all of these features. So without wasting time, I'm going to begin with the first event of our today's list. Looking at the first event, we are looking at Australia in the NPR Tasmania, a match between Clarence Zebra against Glenochi Knight. For this event, I'll first of all want to share with you the performance of these two, Glenochi Knight and uh, Clarence Zebra. First, you're going to see that the performance of the home team, Clarence Zebra, as you can see, shows the probability of highly conceding goals, as you can see here. They concede a lot, 2, 3, 3, 6, and 6. Very high conceding team. And looking at that of its opponent, you're going to see that it's a very high offensive team and the score at a very high rate, 4, 4, and 5. And now, looking at the performance of the home team, you're going to see that they concede much comparing to that of its opponent, which is a high team of strike. Of course, now the stance will show you that based on the standing here and looking at the form, you're going to see that Dinochi Knight sits on the second position. Having played five games, they've had four wins, 21 goals scored and seven goals conceded. But comparing to that of its opponent, they concede too much goals, up to 20 goals for five games, which is an average goal score rate of about four. And looking at everything, they can score only four goals based on the form. And everything in other, we're looking at one or two major picks here in full time. For this particular event, the home team shows the high probability of them to concede a lot of goals. But looking at the form based on recent event they have had, that of the away team shows a high striking power. And therefore, want to look at the possibility of goals here, at least 1.5 going full time or the probability of two goals over. Looking at the next year, we are looking at Czech Republic in the under-19 league. A match between Sparta Prague against Dukla Prague. For this event, first I want to share with you the performance of Sparta Prague based on recent event they have had. This is a team that shows a good level of offense based on recent event they have had, and at least one to two goals per every game. But comparing to that of its opponent, you're also going to see that they are also good at scoring. Of course, now looking at the performance of Sparta Prague based on home probability, you're going to see that they are very good and they have mostly had events recently. In the club friendly, as you can see here, and the performance was very great. That of Duka Prague, which is the away team, also shows a very high striking performance in terms of goal scoring. And uh, looking at everything in place, first the stance, you're going to see that these two teams sit on position of fit and six, and they are good in terms of goal scoring, and they are not very defensive. And everything in other, we look at two major picks here in full time. For this particular event, both of these two teams have shown a greater probability of them to have the possibility of scoring. And of course, looking at the last event they had head-to-head, -head, Sparta Prague played the way it lead by 3 is to 0. This time, its opponent has a good striking power and it also want to impress. And looking at these two coming again to have a play this time, both of these two teams want to impress. Therefore, want to look at still the possibility of goals here. 1.5 or 2.5 goals in full time. Looking at the next year, we're looking at Germany in the Bundesliga women, a match between Entrance Frankfurt women against Jena. First, I'll look at the stance based on recent games they have had. Entrance Frankfurt is really good. And looking at the recent game they have had, they have mostly played in the, the club friendly, as you can see here, and the performance is very great. You can see one, three, four, and two. Comparing to that of its opponent as well, who have also had game mostly in the club friendly as well, and the performance is also very great. 
Now, of course, looking at the performance of a strange based on home games they have had, they are very offensive, especially when they are at home. 3, 4, and 2, comparing to Jenna, which also is good. The stance here, of course, you're going to see that this tournament, which is just starting, it is the first round, and you're, you're going to see they have been placed in the 9 and 11 position. And everything in order, we look at two major picks here in full time. Since these two teams have shown a great level of offensive power in terms of goal scoring, especially in the club-friendly event they have recently had, this tournament is just starting. And now coming to meet for this particular tournament, these two will be fighting to see how they can maintain a good place on the stand. And therefore, the probability of them to impress will be very high. High impressive probability in terms of seeing how they want to see to secure a good position and point will lead to more goals. Therefore, we want to look at at least 1.5 goal here in full time or the probability of two goals, 2.5 goal in full time. Looking here at the next, we are looking at Australia in the NPL Tasmania, a match between Devonport against Kingborough Lion. First, I'll share with you the performance of Devonport based on recent game they have had. You can see how good they are and most of the game they have had is a win with goal striking power. That of its opponent as well shows almost the same. The score at least two to three goals per every game. You can see two, three, and four, two, as you can see here. And of course, looking now at the performance of home team based on home games, they are very offensive, three and eight, based on the most recent event they have had. That of its opponent as well show also high level of offensive power. And now looking at the stands, you're going to see that based on the stand and form, these are two teams of great form and great stand. And you can see that Devonport is very, very defensive. Based on five event play, five win, 21 goals scored, and one goal concede. But that of its opponent is good at scoring, but they are also not that good at defense. And everything in other, we want to look at two major picks here in full time. For this particular event, the home team shows a very high level of defense. But that of the away team or its opponent is good at conceding and also good at strike. Therefore, we want to look at goals possibility here, 1.5 going full time, or two goals over the, pos or the possibility of the home team to lead. But goals here will be the better choice and therefore want to look at 1.5 or 2 goals over. Looking here at the next, we are looking at Australia in the NPL Western Australia. Match between Inglewood against Pet Red Star. For this event, the home team shows a very high level of, uh, that is conceding power. They concede a lot, 6, 6, 5 and 4. Comparing to that of its opponent, which you see here, they also do concede a lot and they also do score. But of course, looking at the performance of the home team Inglewood, they do score, especially at home, and they do concede as well. As compared to Pet Red Star, which shows almost the same rate. But the probability of them to score away is good and better. Now, looking at the stands, you're going to see that based on the stand here and form, these two teams, uh, especially Pet Red Star, sits on a better position. And you can see that nine position and that of its opponent in the 12th. And for Pet Red Star, for five events, they have had eight goals scored, ten concede. But that of Inglewood shows a very high conceding power. And everything in order, we are looking at two major picks here in full time. For this event, the home team shows a very high level of conceding power. And therefore, Pet Red Star, which is the away team that has a better or average offense, want to take that chance of the weak defense of the home team and therefore trying to see how goals be possible here. And if at all the home team try to also impress here, want to look at goals possibility 1.5 or 2.5 goals in full time or just the possibility of the away team to lead as well as the possibility of at least 1.5 or 2 goals over. Looking here at the next, we are looking at Germany in the Under-19 Cup, a match between Union Berlin against Elfberg Under-19. And here, first, the performance of Union Berlin based on recent events they have had shows that they are very good. You can see 3, 1, 1 and 2, and they have mostly had events in the Cup. And looking at that of the opponent, they also had most of their events recently in the Cup. And you can see that they are very, very conceding. Now, of course, looking at the performance of Union Berlin based on home game performance, that shows that they are very good comparing to that of the opponent that concede too much. And now, looking at everything in place, we are looking at two to three major picks in this event in full time. For this particular event, the away team shows that they are very good at conceding, and the home team shows that, especially when they are at home, their performance is great. Therefore, the home team, being the fact that this is a cup, want to see how they can impress to take advantage of the weak defense of that of its opponent. Therefore, want to look at the home team to lead and also the possibility of at least 1.5 or 2 goals over since the defense of the away team is not good. Looking here at the next, we are looking at Singapore in the Premier League. 
a match between Young Lions against Balistia Calcia. In this event, I will share with you the performance of the home team Young Lions based on recent events they have had. You can see against that John Pagers, they are good. And now they also concede a lot. Comparing with that of its opponent, they are very, very good at offense. And you can see they also concede a lot. Now, of course, first, I want to share with you the home performance of Young Lions. You are going to see that they concede too much of goals, 3, 6, and 2. And looking at that of Balicia Castia, they are very good at defense, uh, that is offense, and also concede a lot. And looking at everything in place, now I want to share with you the stance based on the form of recent event they have had. Young Lions sit on the sixth position and Balistia in the third. And having played five events for Balistia Cassia, they have had two wins. And you can see that the goal score rate is good and they do concede a lot. But that of its opponent as well, they are not that very good at scoring. But of course, the conceding power is very great. And since Young Lions is coming home, we want to take that advantage of the home performance and therefore try to perform better at home. As you can see, even though they also do concede a lot. And everything in order, we look at two major picks here in full time. For this particular event, these two teams are good at scoring, especially that of the away. But the home team concede a lot based on recent events they have had. And looking also at the last head-to-head, -head, these two teams met a total of five goals were scored. This time, they are still coming to meet, and these two teams will still want to impress. Therefore, we still want to look at goals 1.5 in full time or 2.5 goals in full time. And to those of you who want to have access to the full list of our 28 top hand-picked match prediction events, which we have shared to members only, then of course you want to make sure to join the level 2 membership package plan and start to have access to all our hand-picked match events which we share to members only. We still have a list of games for this upcoming Sunday as well as Monday and a long list, especially for the next weekend, Friday, Saturday and Sunday, which we are still going to be sharing a very long list. We have already shared a total of 28 events based on our best hand match prediction picks and for you to have this access then you want to make sure to become a member of the level 2 pro plan and see how you can access all our hand pick prediction to take your winning to the next level the link is below this video description you can easily click on it and join and start to have access to all of these features to take your winning to the next height good luck and see you again in the next upload and bye bye for now